So let's use some of that knowledge that we just figured out here and develop a sequence, a couple of different sequences starting at five. Here's a condition. It says, I want to start at five. So our first term, remember, that's our first term that we call T1, is going to be five. And I'm increasing by a common difference of three. Now remember, it does not mean subtraction. The common difference is what's between the terms. It's that thing that allows us to jump from one term to the next. Although we call it a common difference, remember the only reason why it's called a difference is because that term was determined by subtraction. Uh-oh, I'm confused. Wait a second. Let's just do the sequence first and I'll show you what I mean. Going from five to the next term, all you have to do is add three. So there's your comma, add three, that's eight. Again, add another three here, and you'll see that that's 11. Add another three here, you'll see that that goes to 14, and so on and so on and so on. So actually, all you're doing is adding three each and every time. Now, look at this. There's your T1. That would be T2. That would be T3, T4, and so on. Da 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 da. To some term, Tn. Now, where did that common difference idea come in? Remember, the common difference happens when you take a term. Let's take 11 here, okay? And we subtract, that's why it's called a difference, the term in front of it. Subtract an 8. 11 minus 8, guess what? There's your common difference of three, and that's why we refer to it as a common difference of three. Okay, now let's do the next question. Now that we've got this all set up, let's do it the same way. Starting at five, this one specifically says start at five. Now, the common difference is negative four. So the, you add negative four to this, you end up with one. Add negative four again, you end up with negative three. Add negative four again, you end up with negative seven, and so on and so on and so on. It tells you this is continuous. It doesn't tell you to stop. It doesn't tell you it's a finite sequence. It, you keep going, so you got to put the three dots on it just to kind of show that. Now, here's the other cool thing. This is your T1. There's your T2. There's your T3, your third term, your fourth term, and so on, all the way out to your nth term. And again, let me show you how to figure out the common difference. Pick any number. I'm going to pick the negative 7 this time. Subtract the term in front of it. There's the term in front of it. Subtract a negative 3. So negative 7 minus a negative 3 works out to be negative 7 plus 3, which of course is negative 4. That's common difference right there. And that's the term that allows you to bounce from one term to the next term to the next term to the next term. More to come.